Hello fellow truth seekers and Mars Anomaly Hunter, Jean back on post bringing you more from Curiosity Rover following an overwhelming response on my YouTube channel in the comments of my last video I decided to do an update, Curiosity snaps more strange critters on Mars thanks to everyone who commented, much appreciated, together we're learning a lot we're going to be checking out specifically what That's Not a Rock, Wendy Clark and Dale Rogers pointed out. Thank you to you guys and girls. We're going to be checking out your anomalies in this video. I'll run through the beginning of the video relatively quickly. As you've already seen this content. So this is from the high-rise photograph taken a couple of weeks ago of the Curiosity rover. As you can see it's very small. And the anomalies we're checking out are much smaller, so they don't show up in any high-rise photographs. So that's just for scale reference purposes. We're looking at uh, Sol 710 in uh, this little valley of here, yeah, Hidden Valley. And uh, in this region of the Traverse Path. And this is where... The Curiosity snapped the first anomaly, Hidden Valley. And there it is right there. Seems to be hiding underneath uh, this overhang in the shadow over there. And there it is close up. So we'll check that out in a gigapan again towards the end of the video. The second critter was taken on Sol 1267 over there. And uh, it's located very close to Nowcliffe Plateau in this region of here. And there it is right there. This is the one we checked out in the last video. And uh, up close we can see that strange blob with little segments in parallel to one another over there. Here's the third one that I missed. Thank you to Wendy Clark and Dale Rogers for pointing that out in the comments of my last video. There it is up close. Also has this strange orange color and uh, long thin little segments to it. Rather strange little object indeed. And the next one we're checking out is from Sol 844. And uh, it's located down in this region near... Let's see, Whale Rock, or Newspaper Rock, somewhere in this region of here. And as always, you can use the scale indicator to give an idea of how far these ridge lines are where these little critters were photographed. And as previously stated, I think these anomalies are a little bit smaller than a meter, maybe smaller than a half a meter. Thanks to That's Not A Rock for providing a link to this anomaly, the fourth one we're checking out right there. Also has this strange orange color and little segments to it. And uh, if you look, yeah, there's also some of this strange orange material um, on the sides of these rocks in the crevices. I wonder if this isn't some type of moss some type of plant life perhaps maybe it's not a little biological creature who knows for sure check out this piece of uh, pottery over there got a nice rounded shape to it concave in nature in follow up videos I'll have a look at some of the other anomalies in these gigapans so let's zoom in on it and it's right there you can also see it's got these thin little segments to it and these small dark spots. Those look like little eyes. So, there they are side by side. 
There's the first anomaly we checked out, the second one, and the third one that's just to the right of this second one over there, and then the fourth one. These two over here look very, very similar. This one over there has its uh, tentacles or whatever those are spread out around it. And I don't know what that thing is doing over there. This is the gigapan that Todd of What's Up in the Sky did of Sol 710. So let's zoom in full screen onto the anomaly right there in that overhang inside that little crevice. And uh, we zoom in right there. You can check it out in the center of the screen. So thanks for this one, Todd. Also, it looks as if uh, there could be uh, some type of opening of here. My friend uh, Marsform Barnsey pointed out this in one of his videos as well. And he looked at some really strange artifacts located throughout this top region. And also pointed out uh, this phenomenon of here that looks as if water is seeping up or through these crevices and uh, running down the sides of these uh, embankments. So check that out. Similar to those that I've shown in previous videos, looks like uh, water that's seeped down, dried out slightly, and then it leaves these dark streaks. So maybe that's why these critters are growing here, because there might be water. Very interesting. Thanks for pointing that one out, Wayne. This is the new Gigapan I'm featuring over here. Curiosity Sol 844, done by Keith Laney. Neville Thompson also did an excellent Gigapan of this anomaly as well. And uh, let's zoom up close. Check it out right there. And there it is, starting to pop right there. Oval shape to it. Check out these segmented parts with 90 degree angles in them. Gosh, I don't know, creature, some type of uh, moss or plant life growing against these rocks in the cracks and crevices. So it's also way out there in the distance. That's why I say I think these anomalies are less than a meter, maybe less than a half a meter in length. And then the third gigapan this one was done by Terraform Mars or Neil Spence and uh, it's right there to the right of this Gigapan and there's the one that we're all familiar with now and then uh, the other one that uh, Wendy and uh, Dale pointed out check that out that's it for this update folks, thank you for watching, I hope you found it informative and interesting, do let me know in the comments below as always what you make of these, together as a community we're growing and learning from one another, so let's continue the feedback, much appreciated, and as always thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye for now.